What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got a package from Jersey Jack Pinball. Basically six months ago, we made a video talking about the gold discoloration issue that me, along with other collectors, edition owners are having. And well, they delivered. Let's unbox it and install it. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright guys, you know Joe Fina Fama and all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Click the link tree down below. You'll get links to the Instagram, TikTok, and of course YouTube. That is my main kind of social place to see all full-length videos. If you are new here, be sure to click that like, subscribe, and also leave a comment down below you may or may not have heard of me as far as the guy that basically ruined his godfather collector's edition with his low ceiling mod and i do have my gangster mod which i have not fully yet installed in this but i gotta say one thing and i said it in my videos before the godfather collector's edition pinball machine it is a thing of beauty. It is an amazing game. I am proud to say that I am an owner of one, not to mention it is my first ever real pinball machine purchase. This is the first cabinet I ever bought, brand new in box. It's got a little sentimental value to it. Now, if you don't know the whole thing about why this video is being made, why did Jersey Jack send this to me slash, it should be sent to all other collectors, edition owners, yes, specifically to us. I did make a video a while back, it's actually six months. Six months ago, I kind of did a video talking about if you are a new Godfather Collector's Edition owner or even the LE model, a couple of things that you should do to your game, such as adding a little piece of rubber to the left ramp that keeps kind of going up and down. And I did mention this kind of issue that, uh, again, people got their machines before me, I am the proud owner of number 767. Um, basically earlier, you know, people that got their machines first, they did notice an issue that they were having with the lockdown bar along with the side rails in regards to the gold, the actual gold powder coating, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'll take you in close and we'll load up the game. We'll see how many games I have and such. Basically where your palms rest, the gold is actually discolored. Um, again, I made a video about it six months ago, uh, you know, basically me and other people, and I guess people also on Pinside, because Pinside is a great source for, you know, commenting. Um, if you did like me, you reached out to Jersey Jack Pinball, you put kind of a claim in, or um, I don't know what you want to call it, like, a, like an issue. And uh, like I mentioned six months ago, somebody replied from Jersey Jack, they said, Vic, man, Enjoy your machine. You're not the only one that's going to have this, that is having this color discoloration. Just give us some time. We're going to figure something out. And number one, again, I've always, I've always, you know, you could call me a Jersey Jack pinball, Jersey Jack pinball fanboy. Um, I love the table. I love their tables. They are great, amazing, beautiful works of art of games. And, uh, you know, six months ago, I didn't have, I had no doubts that they were going to kind of look into this situation. Not to mention they are right now building and finishing up Elton John's. For them to be doing all this and to have a solution in six months, I give them kudos, I give them props, I give them respect. Basically they heard us and they resolved it. Now again, if you go back on the videos, I even put the links in the descriptions down below. I kind of made a couple of videos talking about this and in all brutal honesty, when I pulled the trigger on my collector's edition, I even went and reached out a powder coater local to me. I did have the envision that, you know, maybe I should send him this lockdown bar and maybe let him clear coat it. Cause in all honesty, you know, Jersey Jack said, hey, you know, give us some time, we'll look into it. Some people have that argument where like, you know, their codes aren't up to date and they're not updating codes. Granted for right now, where this time is shooting the, you know, the Godfather, like end main wizard mode, which is kiss the ring is not in the game. Now you're going to get into the whole thing about, oh, you spent so much money. The game's not even complete. 
Then when I made those videos about talking about this gold discoloration issue, people are saying, hey, listen, you know, you just spent 15 grand on a pinball machine. That shouldn't even be an issue. That's not the argument that we're having right now. That's not really why we're doing this video. I'm just saying thank you, Jersey Jack, for, I guess, reach, uh, listening to the customers and giving us a solution. Now, yes, Jersey Jack, uh, if you know my backstory, um, my original issue that I had with my machine, I actually have a blemish on my actual lockdown bar where the button is. It's kind of, I'll, 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 I'll post a picture of it. It's basically like this little round dot, almost like as if a staple rubbed up against it. And same thing on the right side of the lockdown bar. That was my complaint. I only had an issue with the lockdown bar. Um, either way, the email that we got from Jersey Jack today right now is Friday. Um, they sent us all, or at least me, they sent me an email on Monday. They said, hey, even if you only made a kind of comment or an issue with your lockdown bar, we are still sending you the complete setup. So they are sending the side rails and the lockdown bar. So that's pretty cool. Again, for me, I had an issue with my lockdown bar and it's kind of great, you could see it. I'm gonna have this satisfying moment. Uh, I still do have the green film on my side rails. Yes, I left it there just in case Jersey Jack wasn't going to kind of deliver on their pro not a promise, if they were gonna deliver on this issue, um, I left the green tint on. So I've had my machine, I believe it's now seven months and uh, I'm honestly gonna finally pull off the green film and take a look at it. Um, I mean, why do I still have the green film? I don't really know. You might also be looking where you are and even before, I still have the white clear wrap on my, on my uh, rad cows. Um, I don't know, I, gotta, I kinda have this thing where I like everything still being pristine. Um, I do that with all my electronics, not to mention I have a three year old. Um, so I don't want any random stuff happening to my cabinet. But yes, I think I'm gonna do that just for my satisfaction today. I will take off the green film of the old and um, I don't know yet about the new. We are hoping right now that everything that they sent is, you know, great. I don't know what extra stuff. I haven't even unboxed it. Let's jump to that right now. Let's unbox it. And um, I've never removed side rails in my life, ever. And uh, yeah, this will be a journey. We're going to be removing the side rails and the lockdown bar is easy. But yes, let's, without further ado, stop yapping, Vic. Let's unbox this thing. All right, now this is a little difficult to see always on the camera, but Basically where your palms are, you kind of get like this circular um, oil. That's what the complaints were about as far as this gold. You'll see that right there, you kind of see it there. The gold discoloration. So right here, this is kind of a different gold than this. Basically the oils on your palms were rubbing off on a way. The machine, there you go, you can see it right here. That's where the line is. You can see the difference of the gold. So that's the number one complaint. There are pinball players that have their thumbs here that rest up here, so they did witness discoloration there. I obviously don't have that because I still have to film, but yes, let's, uh, let's, let's swap these out. We do have a thing here. Wow, we have a legit signed Eric Minier poster. Look at that. That is... That is signed. That's pretty cool. Nice little flyer. Nice. Let's take a look here. Enclose your replacements. The return installed in your game is required. So they give you 30 days to return your old stuff. So that's pretty cool. I assume they're gonna do it where, you know, they're gonna resell it. Look at that. They even have a couple of pictures. Lockdown bar button adjustment. Lockdown bar comes with a screw install. What's lockdown bar is. That's fine. No real instruction as far as how to remove the side rails, but without further ado, let's take a look at how this is exactly packaged. Again, doing this in a way. Coming up. Nice. Okay, cool. Wow. There you go, Jersey Jack. I had no doubts. So this is lockdown bar. And of course, my dumbass, I did not bring a scissor, so let me grab a scissor real quick. Trusty scissor, here we go. So, again, I'm really anxious to see the lockdown bar. Because that is the real issue I had. 
And then we'll do a comparison. I'll take off the old, I'll put the camera in my hand. And again, I'm gonna basically do it in a way that I'm gonna rewrap it the way they sent. Beautiful. Let's get the scissor. This is just like my electronics where I like to make sure I don't actually scuff anything. Again, on camera, we will, we will try to compare it. What's beautiful, I don't have the blemish here, so that's a great thing. All right, let's take down, let's take the old one off and let's bring it down. All right, take a look. So got lockdown bars. Again, apparently they probably added an extra clear coat. So again, this is new. This was existing. I didn't take it off yet. Again, you can see I, if my camera focuses, I basically had that blemish there. Let's see if I can get a good focus on it. I'm gonna have this blemish right here. And I said I had my scratch here from like a box staple. If I put these to the same, Beautiful. Awesome. It is definitely the same color. So that was like what other people were worried about. Awesome. All right. New one is on. Button. Basically, I just had to adjust the screw in the button. Again, this is the old one here. You might be able to still see that blemish. Like I said, my complaint was I had this blemish here, which thank God it's not here. And then I also had, it looked like a staple rubbed off on this. But basically, color wise is the same. Again, it's all about the lighting in this place, in my house, so, you know, it's not like this is much brighter, no. From my naked eye, it is exactly the same as far as colors. That's easy, but the real challenge is these side rails. Let's unbox the side rails. All right, so I already got the lockdown bar, my old one, all packed up, ready to go. Here comes the side rails. These are, this is kind of heavy. <laughs> not anticipating it to be this heavy, but let's see. I mean, again, I've had my side rails still, as you can see, wrapped. But again, Jersey Jack with a beautiful wrap job. Again, we're just aiming to take off the tape. Let's see? Now again, it looks like there's no instructions on how to install these, but I'm pretty sure it's straightforward. I think the only thing that's gonna scare me is apparently, uh, there's double-sided tape. So I think that's like the main kind of worry. Look at that. Look at that. With the red. Look at that. People have made a complaint that this isn't the line. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Love it. Question is, is this all... I mean, it looks like it's being held down. Yeah, so I could see these two screws. I didn't see this one. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to pull the play field out for that. We're gonna have to see how that is exactly. But yes, awesome. That's one rail. Again, it's like a, it's like a baby. And the second rail. Now, not to mention actually, look at that. This doesn't have the green protection on it like my stock one. So yeah, awesome. We'll compare it side by side right now, and I will have the satisfaction of pulling off that green tint. All right, so I got the glass off now. I'm actually gonna do the great honor. Yes, seven months later, I'm gonna take the green tint off the side rails, and then I'm gonna take the side rails off. So what's the point? Uh, honestly, it looks like, again, there's two screws here, but why not get that little bit of a satisfaction? Ooh. Again, now this is the old, this is the stock. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna make sure bypassing my low ceiling mod gunners as you can see there. Oh man, it is a thing of beauty. <laughs> so now real quick to compare it. I'm pretty sure you got a good angle there, yes. Beautiful. Tis a thing of beauty. Um. I'm gonna see, I believe there's one bolt here. I don't see a bolt in the rear. Um, if it is, it's behind the back box slash the back box hinge. Again, never taken off side rail before, but let's go with one at a time, obviously. Yeah, and as you can see, it is still the same. 
want to see. Is there any like new font? No, no, it's the same thing. Beautiful. So real quick, jumping in here so you don't have to really waste your time watching me swap out the side rails because I actually lifted this back box several times. Uh, in all honesty, as a summary for this, it's a very easy swap. There are four screws on each side rail, two gold ones that take a standard Phillips head screwdriver. There's one in the rear that you have to drop the back box down for, and there's one bolt in the front. You do need to raise the play field. So to make it long story short, to make it very simple, definitely you're gonna take off your glass. The first thing I would do is lift up the play field. Be sure to put your side arc protectors, obviously. No need to go totally vertical. I just put it on the first metal. And uh, you could take out these two bolts here using your standard 1132 ratchet. Remove those two bolts and those two screws. You're gonna see also like a ground ferret kind of wire. Um, that stays there. It's actually like, it's so tight it stays there. So remove those, drop your play field, remove the two gold screws here. Again, I had, I used two separate uh, screwdrivers, one on the bigger side and one on the smaller side. Once you get those in, I mean removed, drop your back box and remove the two small black screws that you'll see there. You'll be able then now, once you remove those screws, re-raise your back box. You are then gonna be able to slide out your rails, slide in the new rails, put in the two gold screws, drop the back box again, put the two black screws in, raise your back box, we are done with that. Come to the front, raise your play field, and hit your two bolts in front. That is the easiest, the easiest way. Again, you will have to drop the back box and raise it. Now watch me as I do it multiple times. <laughs> All right, so installation on this is actually not that bad, but yes, you will have to drop the back box. This is also just a great, great thing to show the previous haters. Look at that. Yes, I could drop my back box and my low ceiling mod clears it. But basically you have to drop the back box because there is one screw right here. And again, you wanna be sure you're using the correct size Phillips head. This screw is actually smaller than the two on the sides. So basically right now, it's gonna be kind of a two-step thing. I took the screw out. I really cannot take this side rail out because obviously the back box is on. I'm gonna lift back box, slide out the rail, and then I'm gonna have to do it basically again. But while I'm at this point, I'm gonna to go to the other side. This way I don't have to do it twice. And I will remove this little screw right here again the only way to reach this screw you have to drop the back box down so i don't even know if you can see me anymore but that's a-okay again little tiny screw and we are good to go and just for the haters i would with pleasure relift my back box beautiful man uh, takes me back always lock the back box up and now basically we could get ready to swap out these rails. Um, might as well do it with you guys real quick. So I have this stock. I always keep my stuff. This came with my cab. But basically, and again, shockingly, it's not that difficult. There's two gold screws right here. Be sure to use a fatter head Phillips head than that one that's up there. And inside the cabinet itself, yes, I did raise the play field. Yes, I did put the protective, you know, cover. Um, there is a bolt right here in front. Don't be afraid. Use your standard pinball ratchet set, which is an 1132 ratchet. And you pull out the bolt with the nut. No need to worry, there's like a grounding feather, fed it, fetter, whatever you wanna call it. There's like a ground there. And that's it, right here, look at this. This slides out, woo! Old rail gone, there you go. All right, without further ado, we got our new rail. Again, being nice and easy. Basically gonna just slide this in for now, let it rest, and you could do, you know, you could do it a couple of ways. I'm probably gonna put at least one uh, gold screw first. I'm more worried about the ferret kind of bolt in the front. Again, be sure to use the correct, you know, type of Phillips head. That one in the rear is very small, so you don't wanna use a big Phillips head. Not gonna go too tight on it. Basically now I'm gonna work on the bolt here. All right, so I'll be brutal on the You're gonna wanna lift up the play field. 
and it's just gonna make your life much easier. You don't even have to pull it out that much, but as I said before, anytime I'm playing with the play field, I always have my protectors on here. Let's work on this bolt here. Uh, I'll be honest, I can't even get the camera in a good spot, but basically, again, there's this braided ferret kind of ground, and definitely, yes, you're gonna wanna take the play field and raise it. Uh, yeah, once we get a couple of little screws in, yep, we're in. Awesome, so as you can see, we're not removing any um, you know, flipper buttons. Pretty straightforward. I don't wanna go too tight. Actually, no, I could go tight. And right now, make sure I get a couple of clicks. Make sure our bolt is actually flush. Don't wanna go too crazy. And boom, that's it, we're in. Awesome. While I'm here, I'm gonna work on the right side. So swap that over to loosen, lefty loosey. We do have the shooter rod here, but that's not gonna be an issue. Again, I can't even tell if you can see me, but whatever, it's your basic stuff. And this bolt is very like visibly here. You can see it. It's not like it's hiding. Again, that uh, grounded ferret, it won't even move. That's like permanently there. And uh, yeah, here we go. So if I push this out, boom. We got a butt, a butt, a bolt, and a nut. Let's work on that, but real quick, I'm gonna put the other gold screw on this and that's it, this is basic. All right, in all honesty, like this should be like a one-two kind of thing. Definitely take your play field out, aim for the front two bolts, and then work your way up. As you can see right now, I'm gonna drop the play field in as I do have my right bolt out. I'm gonna take off, I can actually leave my protect, no, no, I can't. I'm gonna take off the protectors only because we got the screws and stuff. Again, right now, I'm gonna be finishing up. I already put one gold screw in, making sure I'm using the correct Phillips head. As you can see, I have for the smaller, the rear, the smaller one, this is for the gold. Okay, nice and easy. No need to rush. And definitely, just take your time with it because you don't want to go ahead and scratch any of that. So beautiful. Basically right now I'm going to drop back box again. Again, I still had slash have from my original shipment. I still have my protective corners. You could use the corners that they came in this new package that they shipped to the new rail. So you could always do that. Uh, basically right now we're going to again lower the back box with my low ceiling mod gangsters. Gotta love them, look at that. Oh, what a thing of beauty. Isn't it beautiful? Again, I don't have the glass on the play field. I have my opening space here. I got this little baby Phillips head that goes here. Honestly, I should have taken the side rail out. <laughs> I should have taken the side rail out on the other side. Because I would have had to do this one time. I have to re-lift, re basically, um, the back box again. So that's okay. Left side is done. Let's raise up my back box again. Again, I did that a couple extra steps, but hey, it's like a workout, right? Now I'm going to work on the opposite side there. I'm on the right. Like I said, I should have done this before I dropped the back box. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's A-OK. -okay. Um... Whatever, we could take off finally, getting that satisfaction. Watching out for my gunners here. Get that nice little satisfaction. Now I did already remove the screw in the rear. Basically I have to remove now the two gold screws on the side and then our side rail basically is free. So again, take your time here. Make sure you're not kind of like stripping the Phillips head, there's one gold. Take your time. There is two gold, beautiful. Two golds on the floor. Side rail now will just slide on out. And again, this is not double-sided tape. This is like a protect, oh, this is actually the red. That's what that white is. So this now we have our two old out of the way. Look at that. Woo. And now we got the new in. So nice and gently again. Don't want to mess up, scratch up the cabinet at all. Beautiful. Let's hit with one gold screw right there. 
Again, start it up with your fingertips. And again, go slow. These gold screws amazingly don't even have like, looks like they were untouched. So definitely want to take that time. Again, right now, I'm going to be lifting up the play field. So I'm going to grab my play field protectors shipped from Jersey Jack, shipped with my game. I don't have to pay extra for this. That's always great. It's always best to do one at a time. Again, to get to this front bolt, you're better off lifting up the play field. We're down, bring it on up. Just gonna go to like the first notch, nothing crazy. Beautiful, got that, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Again, make sure your grounding ferret is there. Give it a couple of cranks. Making sure also your bolt here is nice and firm. It's like a square, so it has to go in to the cabinet. So this is all good and done. Awesome, while I'm here, might as well hit this one just to make sure. Yeah, doesn't have to be crazy tight. We are basically good to go. Uh, we're gonna drop the play field. All Gucci, making sure that we're in, yeah. Beautiful. Removing our protective covers. Dropping the back box one more time and we finish it off with the other two screws. We'll keep it going. Again, this came with my machine. This is like the rail protectors and all that. I'm in a good spot. We are going to drop back box. Make sure nothing's in the way. So again, essentially you could do this with dropping the back box two times and raising the play field two times. I've got my workout in. I basically raised this like three or four times. Awesome, I got my one last final screw in the rear with my smaller Phillips head. What a thing of beauty. Again, my first ever pinball machine. It's giving me some very good life lessons and tutorials. That's it, raising up back box. We got one more gold screw. Whew, look at that. You can even see it from that angle. My beautiful low ceiling mod. Those gunners I'm gonna locate our last gold screw. Again, making sure now we use the right Phillips head. Remove this. Last hole is right here. Slow and steady wins the race. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, two side rails in. Power it on up. Whew, what a thing of beauty. Love it. And well, just like that, we get our glass. Slide that puppy on. Feels very naughty having no, uh, no green uh, tint anymore. Whew. Making sure the Invisiglass logo is good. We got the new lockdown bar right down below. Making sure everything is good to go. Again, open up the coin door. Open up my lockdown. Boom. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have done the Jersey Jack Godfather Collector's Edition side rails and lockdown bar replacement. If I wasn't filming it, no joke, I would probably say a 15 to 20, 30 minute job. Man, it looks great honestly now without that green tint. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it a feel, let's go, let's rock. Let's do one quick game. Somebody already asked me on pin side, do you feel the difference in the coating? <sighs> I don't know, can't really tell. Definitely gonna be something where like I have to play it, you know, a couple of times just to see. Um, You'll probably see an updated video maybe, but uh, yes, 
Let's bring me back. I'm gonna double check, triple check. Back box is locked in. Let's bring this back. I've usually never slid my game that far out, but, oh, somebody did ask, do you feel a difference? I mean, in all honesty, there's no way to tell, like, you know, oh, this is a much better upgrade. There's, there's really no way to tell. Somebody's like, can you feel the actual double clear coat? In all honesty, the only thing we're gonna be able to see is when we actually play it. Uh, but man, what a thing of beauty. I did a quick kind of, I just started something. Um, again, if you know me, on my build, I did upgrade the shooter rod spring. I do have the red spring. Uh, I did put brand new Polaris balls in this. Again, seven months old. I am just uh, very happy, honestly, that this side rail swap was easy. Um, very fairly easy. Let's try to get the scoop. Again, got the new spring in. Oh, I missed the skill shot. Ah, come on, come on. Again, forever loving my godfather. Ah, <laughs> forever loving. Just for kicks, real quick, um, we will go into the audits. Right now, I am at games started 1954. Games played 1478, because my brother sometimes, if he has a bad ball one, he stops it. <laughs> uh, one player games, yeah. It's about almost close to 2,000 games played. Man, beautiful, beautiful. There you guys have it. Vic VP Game Case Arcades, the Godfather Collector's Edition. Shout out again, Jersey Jack Pinball, for listening. Now we just have to play with it. Probably stay tuned for an updated video, but man, it looks great without the, the green tint. <laughs> Beautiful. Vic VP. I love my godfather. Love it.